Alright guys, we got a bit of a dogfight here. I am in the SOP with Camel, and we have a Fokker DR1 off in front. And we're gonna see what kind of tactics we need during World War I in order to win. I highly doubt one circle, two circle, you know, this stuff means anything <laughs> at this level. But we're gonna find out. Into the merge! Wow, that was spicy. I swear the flight performance from these aircraft is insane, especially that DR-1. Look at that. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> he went up to the loop and just shot me as he went. That's incredible. Look at this thing. Holy crap, that thing is maneuverable, man. <laughs> it's like a little kite with three wings. And so I've flown the DR-1 enough to kind of have a feeling of its weaknesses. And I know that turning to the left is problematic for that thing. Oh wow, that was close. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to get him into left-hand turns wherever possible. And we'll see what happens with that. I'm also much faster than he is. The DR1 is very slow. Look at that thing. Wow, man. But it is far more maneuverable than me. Uh, that is my understanding anyway. It's an extremely maneuverable aircraft. Um, so biplanes, just by nature, are very maneuverable. The DR1 is even more maneuverable. So. But, I mean, this is, this is incredible stuff, man. These guys were... Really amazing. I took off. I didn't take off, but I mean, I, I lit up his tail pretty badly there. But I mean, just the insanity to climb into one of these things, man. And look at how close to the ground we are. Anybody who gets shot down is not getting out, even if you do have a parachute. The way he just goes up and turns around and comes back and shoots at me is very problematic. Look at wow. Okay, he hit me there. I think he hit the top of my wing. Maneuver in relation to the bandit. That was incredible, but he almost lost control here. He may not pull out. And I think I hit him. I think I hit him there. He pulled out. <laughs> Treetop level, he pulled out. I uh, got him in a right-hand turn now. I prefer the left, but this is where we are for now. Oh, wow. If that bullet went through the wing where I shot it, it hit the pilot right in the head. The other thing here is the need to be a gentleman. You kind of feel it a little bit when you do these World War I dogfights. You're like, you know, I should be nice to this guy. I should try to kill him, but I should still also be nice to him at the same time. It's a weird paradoxical thing, you know? And just lit this guy up pretty good here. That was a nice little maneuver to get out of the way. And I don't want to do anything super aggressive. Oh wow. Oh, those bullets went right over my head. I don't want to do anything super nuts at this altitude. Because, um, you know, there's no pulling out of it. I do have him, as you can see now, in the left-hand turn that I was talking about. And you can see that I am out-turning him. Um, so we are actually in a World War I rate fight. That is uh, quite interesting. I am winning. 
and he shot a flare at me. <laughs> he tried to set me on fire with a flare there. That was very ungentlemanlike of him. <laughs> tried to set me on fire. Oh my god. Wow, that thing is nuts. A little bit of loss of control here on my part. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, we pulled out just before we hit the ground. I also don't know where he is, so I'm gonna... Oh, there he is. Oh, that was close. I actually did a bit of a tighten down there to try to survive that. I want to keep him in this left-hand turn. Uh, I like it. And also, when he turns to the left, he pulls up, so it makes it even harder for him. He has some pitch back when he tries to turn left, so it's very, very hard for him to make a left-hand turn. There we go. There he is over that forest there. All right, you see, I just, I'm just turning and turning and turning, and he's taking the opportunity to get out of that left-hand turn wherever possible. That's how much he hates it. Oh yeah, that was nice. Cross right in front of the nose there. More. I just can't get these rounds onto meat or metal, as they say. Oh, is he going down? Oh, I think he's trying to... He's out of the fight. I did see a little bit of white smoke. That looks like a white flare. That is a surrender flare. I think he's trying to communicate. He's going to try to land. I'm going to let him. Best of luck to him. At the end of the day, we are sportsmen, not butchers, as they say. And looks like he might be able to land it. Maybe experiencing some engine trouble. And that's it, he put it down. He actually managed to land the DR1. I did light that thing up pretty hard. I'm pretty sure he's damaged. A great fight by a worthy opponent. I guess that's Splash One Fokker. That looks like a green flare. Thank you, flare. You're welcome, buddy. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here.